फोर नाइट फुली फ्लाइट एकोमोडेशन मिल रहा है प्लीज देखो दुबई में पर जब तक आप दुबई नहीं देखोगे ना तब तक आप तक आप उसका कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आएगा तो मेरा एक पर्सनल रिक्वेस्ट है प्लीज विजिट दुबई एस सोन एस पर्सनल रिक्वेस्ट वांट यू सी दुबई ट्रस्ट मी यू विल लव इट एंड यू विल लाइक इट एंड यू विल एंजॉय सेलिंग दुबई मोर एंड मोर आई मूव्ड टू दुबई 30 इयर्स अगो आई स्टार्टेड माय करियर एज doing brokerage business brokerage means you are into building material somebody wanted to buy like you are doing the property business i started in the building material brokerage somebody wanted to buy somebody wanted to sell i was making that 1% 2% commission in the brokerage business and that's how i built up my career from uh, brokerage we started doing the trading in the building material then we established a company which is called nalu home which is dealing in the furnishing of the building material the furnishing of the house and then came the property business and that what is dubai you know like how we say mumbai you have lot of opportunity the same way which is dubai is also a city of gold plenty of opportunity especially for indians like us it's a city of blessing because dubai welcomes you with open arms dubai helps you to start your business it's very easy to do business in dubai the yes, competition level is there but then the world is around you i was talking to somebody and I asked him. Somebody asked me a question. The one of the editor asked me a question. Sir, what is the difference between doing a business in Dubai and doing a business in India? You know what is the difference? In India, when you are doing a business, you are selling only to the Indian people. But when you are doing a business in Dubai, you are selling to the whole world. Like, for example, let me talk about my property business. There are thirty, thirty-five percent of the people from India buying my property. But the seventy percent of the people of the rest of the world, they are people from UK who are buying. They are people. China, Russia, Middle East, Europe, all are my customers. So that's what Dubai makes it attractive because you're not only selling to the Indian, but you're selling to the whole world. The most important thing about Dubai, which I compare with any city in the world, is there is zero percent tax, especially for the people who are working. Nobody wants to do business. Right now, only the government has introduced that nine percent corporate tax, which is nothing if you ask me. But otherwise, if you are in, if you are working for somebody, you are not paying any taxes. And for not paying any taxes, the lifestyle which you enjoy, the infrastructure which you enjoy, the roads and safety which you have, the security which you have, the general education which you have, the harmony which you have. When I say the harmony, people from all over the region stay in Dubai. You have. The biggest Hindu temple being built. I'm sure you must have heard the news. Narendra Modi ji ke inaugurated that beautiful temple in Ahmedabad. Guru Dwara is there, church is there, of course, plenty of mosques are there. So Dubai is a city which welcomes all the religion, and we all live together so happily, so well. Like you know, when you watch an India-Pakistan match also together, we have the Pakistanis watching with us the match, and we enjoy that match. That that's how we know uh, Dubai is all about. And if as far as the property price in Dubai, if I have to talk about Dubai, I always say is still undervalued. When I say undervalued, because you can buy an apartment in Dubai for two to five crore rupees without any problem, and two to five crore rupees. It's very difficult to buy in a city where we come from. I'm from Mumbai. I am also born and brought up in Mumbai, so I know what is the price is going on today in Mumbai. And then two to five crores rupees. What do you get in Mumbai? What do you get in Dubai? You get an excellent property, best of the location, with the excellent payment plan. I say everybody knows the payment plan which you offer, and 40 plus amenities and a fully furnished apartment. I remember. For three years ago, I came to buy a property in Mandra. One of my friends was a very big man over here in uh, Mandra. He bought this property. He said 25 crores is the property. It was a three-bedroom apartment. He sent me the details of the apartment. I really liked it. I went there. I saw the apartment. The lobby was very simple. There was nothing. She could feel that you were entering the lobby. Yes, when you entered the apartment, the furnishing of the interior was done very, very well. Amenity what was there? The swimming pool was there, the gym was there. In Dubai, we offer you 40 plus amenities. So, plus the most important thing, when I came out of the building, or when I saw it from the balcony, I could see. Sorry to say, but lot of slums around me. And I said, this is the entry I want to be going to that building every day and night. 
Because they are spoiled in Dubai. Unfortunately, what happens is when you live in Dubai, you are staying in that hot area. Like I stay in Bandra, in Carter Road, so I am used to staying in that area. And that Bandra is nothing today. Bandra is a very good area. You come by in Carter Road, Bandstand area, the super one of the topmost area. But when you come to Dubai, you see the, see the buildings over there, see the cleanliness over there, see the entry level over there, see the surrounding over there. It's completely different. So, I personally feel Dubai is a heaven. And why do you think people from India are investing in Dubai? Because they feel that Dubai is the second home for them. When I say second home for them, because Indians never feel lost when they visit Dubai. I mean, I'm sure you have, many of you have visited Europe. Some of you may have gone to Bangkok or other some other places for a holiday. But when you come to Dubai, you feel you are in a second Indian home. Whichever city in the world you come from, whether you come from Kerala, Iran, or anywhere in the world, you will not feel your right of out of India. And that's what Dubai offers you. So talking about Daniel properties, uh, like we mentioned in the video, Daniel has already launched 28 projects, out of which 15 projects already delivered. Last two years have been very, very good because the market was booming and we have launched 12 projects in the last two years. Now, that shows the confidence of the people which people are having in Dubai because people from all over the world wants to come and invest in Dubai. The reason I have already told you why they want to come in Dubai, but like I was just reading an article, when they say in 2024, 5,400 millioners are going to be shifting in Dubai. So that's a huge number. I'm not talking about a normal person. We're talking about 5,400 millioners who are going to be shifted in Dubai. The reason is because they all want to make Dubai the second home. And why not? Because the way the city is growing, it's still underpriced. When I say underpriced, if you compare with any cities in the world, most of the metropolitan cities in the world, you compare with Singapore, you compare with Hong Kong, you compare with London, you compare with Russia, and you compare with my own city, Mumbai, we are really underpriced because the price perspective which we sell in Dubai for all the amenities we offer you, and you know that we also offer you a fully furnished apartment. Uh, if I have to say in a two bedroom apartment, I have calculated the furnishing, Give you 80 lakhs rupees of furnishing free. Anybody can come and check the apartment. That 80 lakhs rupees of furniture is being offered free to the customer, which is a very, very high quality Dolce Vita from Italy that furniture we are offering to the customer. So, 